In this video, we will talk about how to focus on the active source code by using Verdi source code viewer. Now let's see what you can expect to learn from this video. Firstly, we will talk about how to browse and search the hierarchy tree. Then we will talk about how to view the declared signals under the specific scope. Then we will see how to view the source code along with the simulation result. Finally, we will see how to focus on the active source code only. We have loaded the very log design to Verdi. The hierarchy browser is in the left hand side. It shows the structure of the design and you can browse the design hierarchy here. Verdi provides the search and filter in the hierarchy browser. You can click the right mouse button and select the command to open it. Now you can see the filter and search field in the top of the hierarchy browser. In this filter, you can filter hierarchy nodes by choosing different types. You can also input the wildcard string into the input field to filter nodes along with the type you choose. As you can see, now only the match nodes will be displayed. And you will see the exclamation mark put on the top scope, which notify you that some nodes has been filtered out. If you want to search a specific node, just input the wildcard string into the search field. As you can see, now Verdi jumps to the match node. If you want to view the source code, just double click on this node and the corresponding source code will be shown in the right hand side. If you like to know all the declared signals under this specific scope, you can invoke the signal list command to open the signal list pane. All signals declared under this scope will be listed in this pane. If the simulation result is already loaded into Verdi, you can turn on the acting annotation command to attach the simulation value into this pane. Now you can see the signal name and its simulation value in the same window. You can simply change the simulation time to view the value in another time. As you can see, the value has been changed according to the specified time. If you see the value color in red, that means the value has been changed from your previous snapshot. The simulation result can also be annotated to the source code view. In this way, you can view the source code along with the simulation result within one single view. Verdi provides some cool features to let you focus on the interested source code only. For example, this is an if-else block. You can use the identify false logic command to focus on active source code only. As you can see, some source code has been folded. Let's expand it to see why they are folded. It's because that the condition is false, so the source code becomes inactive in this simulation time. This command will gray out all inactive source code and fold it, so you can just focus on active statements. This mechanism can be applied to all conditional statements such as if then else, case, switch, and so forth. And the gray code and the folders will be changed dynamically according to the value of the condition when you change the simulation time. The folder can also be applied to other kinds of source codes. You can go to the preference to enable them. In preference form, there are lots of kinds of folders can be used. For example, you can fold the always statement, comments, poor list, compiler directive, and so forth. Then you can see other kinds of folders can now be applied to the source code, and the setting will be saved into Nova Star C. 
so they will be available by default when next time you involve Verdi. If you like to control these folders, you can use the window base command to control them separately. You can see all window based commands are provided here and you can use them to customize your source code. Now let's see what we have learned from this video. Firstly, we know how to use the filter and search to browse the hierarchy tree. Then we know how to open the signal list pane to view the declared signals under a specific scope. We also learned how to turn on the acting annotation to view the simulation result along with the source code. Then we had talked about how to use the identify false logic to create an active source code. In the end, we had learned how to use the source code folders to fold unconcerned source codes. This is the end of the video. Thank you for your time.